Hello, sports fans. I want to welcome everyone to a special edition of Sports Memos College and Pro Football Forecast. I'm your host, world champion handicapper, Las Vegas' biggest daily sports better, Joe D'Amico. Before we go any further, this is a very, very special time of year where we give thanks. I want to give thanks to a few people out there that mean the world for me. First, my lady, Dion D'Amico. You're going to meet her her in a moment. I love you, baby. Uh, I want to give thanks to the great folks over at Sports Memo. I want to give thanks to our panel today. Two guys that are, are just, I mean, they're icons in the industry, but they, they're friends of mine, and I want to give thanks to them. And I want to give thanks to all of you out there for making the Football Forecast shows the most successful new show in the business. Now, sports fans, let's get down to business. You're going to receive free winners in all five Thanksgiving Day games from some of Sports Memo's documenting winning campers. Providing today's winners are the First Lady of Las Vegas, the lovely Dion D'Amico, the pioneer himself of the sports betting industry, Mr. Ross Benjamin, and my longtime friend, Mr. Jesse Shul, and myself, Joey D. Guys, during the show, you're going to see a discount. Go scroll across the bottom of the screen. See that sucker right there? See that? There it is. Guys, take advantage of that discount. Today's offer is a first. Wow. Go to Sports Memo and choose as few or as many short or long-term packages for as many or as few cappers as you want and get 40% off any package. As many packages for as many cappers as you want for as short or as long of a stay, 40% off. You use thanks 40 upon checkout. And, guys, if you like what you hear, like and follow the Sports Memo YouTube channel and our Twitter pages. We're going to jump right in. We're going to cover all five Thanksgiving Day games. You're going to get a free winner in each from this great cap, from this great panel of cappers. And, guys, we're going to start with definitely the prettiest capper on the panel. She's been on the leaderboard all college football season. She's got another winner today for you on the gridiron. Let's bring around the first lady of Las Vegas, Dion D'Amico. Dion, can you tell us about your first winner, please? Absolutely. Thank you for having me, honey, and I love you, too. <laughs> um, so for this game, at first glance, I must admit, I lean towards the Saints here. But looking further, something dawned on me. Sitting in second place in the AFC East and coming off their worst loss of the season, Buffalo, if they want to make a run at the division and moreover the conference, they must win here. On both sides of the line of scrimmage, the Bills outclass the Saints. So lay the four and a po- lay the four and a half points here. Okay, there it is. The first lady of Las Vegas, Dion D'Amico. Dion's been doing great work over at Sports Memo. She's been kicking butt and taking names. By the way, sports fans, just before the game, just before the taping of the show, the line did go up. There are some fives and fives and a halves around. She mentioned four and a half. I want you to know why I put up the five and a half because we always want to err on the side of caution with our viewers out there. We're not going to give you a line at six and it's eight. We want to make sure you've always got the benefit of the doubt. Dion, you're doing great work over at Sports Memo. Can you tell everybody what you got going on Thanksgiving Day uh, on the premium side, please? Yeah, so right now I have um, one game up for the Thanksgiving Day card. Um, You'll have to go over to Sports Memo to find out which one it is because it is one of my highest rated plays. So head on over to Sports Memo and check it out. There it is. Go to Sports Memo, guys. And by the way, Dion, I hope you were talking to me when you said I love you on your wing. <laughs> I know Jesse and Ross are on the panel. They're two good-looking sons of guns. I'll tell you what, I'm a little threatened right now. Uh, guys, we're going to go from uh, one perennial leaderboard capper, the first lady of Las Vegas, Dion Domingo, to another. He's been on leaderboards for decades, guys. He looks great for his age, but I want to tell you, he is a pioneer of the sports betting industry, and he's going to tell you about his free winner for Thanksgiving Day. Mr. Ross Benjamin. Ross, tell us about your free winner, please. All right. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, by the way, and including the viewers. And not only do you love Dion, but I love her even more after that pick. Buffalo Bills, <laughs> baby. Hey, you know what? 3-0 and straight up in ATS after a loss, Dion, um, this season. So, And they win by 25 points a game. Just saying. Uh, Mississippi <laughs> State, minus one, uh, hosting Ole Miss. You know, here's the reason why I love Ole Miss as a team. Not in this game, but as a team. I love Matt Corral. You know why? Because he reminds me of a flamboyant, tough little guy, Joe D'Amico. He's got he's got a lot of guile. He's got a lot of character. He's got a lot of savvy. But however, just because I like him a lot doesn't mean I got to bet on him. I'm going with Mississippi State here. Look, here's the thing. Ole Miss coming off three straight wins in a row. Mississippi State, Mike Leach in his second year after a down first year, has really turned his team around and, in my opinion, is playing 
uh, the better football coming down the stretch. And it's hard to say when you're going against a team with a three-game win streak, but that's the way I feel. Uh, the line is uh, pretty accurate, in my opinion, as always. And I'm going to lay the one point. You know what, Joe? Instead of laying the one point, I would highly recommend if you can get 135 or less on the money line, use the money line on Mississippi State. That juice only counts if you lose, and we ain't losing this one. There you go. Oh, man, guys, I want to tell you, he's made a believer out of me over the years. You know, I, I mentioned this before the show. You do something once, you're lucky. You do something twice, you're lucky. Do it for decades, and that is winning, and that's what Ross Benjamin has been doing for decades in this business. Now, he's doing some great work over at Sports Memo. I want to tell you what he's got going on. Thanksgiving Day for you on the premium side that you can take advantage of. Yeah. Um, for those of you who buy, uh, you'll get an autographed uh, hat that Joe D'Amico is not, not wearing. Um, in any event, I do have a total on the Chicago and Detroit game. Start your day with a winner there. And then a top play, a top play, and I probably already gave it away, but on the Buffalo Bills and New Orleans game on Saturday evening, let's just say that me and Dion have a lot in common this week. So <laughs> in any event, that's what I got. Got to love him. By the way, he's sporting that Michael Corleone slick back hair look from <laughs> Godfather 2. I love it. I'm jealous of anybody with hair, guys. Uh, guys, uh, we're going to go to another perennial on the leaderboard. You know, he's one of my favorite people in the world, and I'm honored to call him a, a dear friend. He, we, we speak uh, regularly every week, and I'll tell you what, he's kicking butt on this show. His free games are on fire. I know he's had some... Uh, four and all weekends uh, with us on the free plays on three and one weekends. He is on fire. And if his premium plays are kicking butt and taking names, what do you think his premium plays are going to do for you? But right now, he's going to give you a free winner for Thanksgiving. The one, the only, we call him the body, Mr. Jesse Schul. Jesse, tell us about Thanksgiving Day. Well, Joe, the Cowboys and the Raiders, the total for this game opened at 54 and a half and was promptly back down due to some injury concerns for Dallas. But it's still on the wrong side of 50, in my opinion. The Cowboys were limited to three field goals against the Chiefs. Amari Cooper, of course, missed the game with COVID, and he's going to be out for this Thanksgiving Day game. C.D. Lamb picked up a concussion. He's questionable to play. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott rolled his ankle. He's been limited in practice with what they're calling a knee injury. And hes I expect him to play, but I don't expect him to be as effective as he normally is. But the good news for the Cowboys is their defense has been phenomenal. I don't know if anybody saw it, but they held Patrick Mahomes to 260 yards, no touchdowns, and he was intercepted in the game on Sunday. And the Cowboys ranked second in the NFL with 15 interceptions so far. Uh, the under is 4-0 and in the Cowboys' last four, and the under is 7-3 and in the Raiders' last 10 as a road underdog. With all the injuries to that high-flying Cowboys offense, I think 51 is too big a number here. All righty. Jesse, the body shul, guys. Uh, guys, once again, take advantage of that discount. You see, this is amazing. And I believe it's going to be up there for our other shows, which I'll tell you about at the end of this uh, segment, um, through Monday. All right. It's just crazy. Go to Sports Memo. Choose as few or as many short or long-term packages for as few or as many copies as you want. 40% off any package. Use code THANKS40 upon checkout. Now, I want him to tell us what he's got going on on the premium side Thanksgiving Day so you can enjoy some turkey and a few winners from Mr. Jesse Schull himself. Jesse, what's going on on the premium side, please? Well, I got the total in the Egg Bowl in, college, in the college game there, and I have two NFL sides, and they're all together in a three-pack. Get three football games for Thanksgiving, and you will be thanking me. There you go. Guys, use that discount for Miss Dion D'Amico, Mr. Ross Benjamin, Mr. Jesse Shul, or myself, Joe D, or some of the other great cappers over at Sports Memo. Guys, it's like a buffet of, of, of great cappers over there. It's amazing. Now we're going to go to my game. Uh, love this game. Love the line. I want to talk about it, sports fans. Granted, there's no glitch or glamour in the Bears-Lions Thanksgiving Day matchup. Guys, living in Vegas... We have a melting pot of residents with a large population hailing from Windy City. Funny thing, I haven't seen, seen a single person sporting a Bears jersey in almost two months. They're riding a five-game straight-up losing streak, going one and four against the number, and their once-fair defense 
They've sprung a leak bigger than the hole that the iceberg left in that Titanic, folks. Now, it's true, though. It's, it's horrible. They were once feared, even at the beginning of the season, they were prognosticated as being one of the best defenses in the league. God oh, darn it. They're not even the best defense in Chicago. Uh, the Bulls have that. Anyway, guys, if you want to hear something funny about the 0-9-1 Detroit team, they're getting better paid. They've covered six. That's right, six games this campaign. One thing for sure. With back-to-back 130-plus yard performances, running back DeAndre Swift. By the way, if he and I would get married, he'd be DeAndre D'Amico. Anyway, that's, <laughs> that's something to think about. But running back DeAndre Swift has Lions fans excited for the first time in years. He will get the bulk of the load here, slowing the pace, keeping the Bears' defense on the field. Some ATS numbers, Chicago 3-8, and eight, the last 11, versus NFC North opponents. 1-4 and four, the last five in the month of November. 2-5 and five, the last seven on-field turf. I'm taking the three and a half points here. I think Detroit has a shot at winning this game outright, but I'm taking the three and a half points here. I love this game, guys. By the way, uh, I'm very excited about my turkey shoot special. I've already posted over at Sports Memo over the last 18 years that I'm documented, sports fans. My turkey shoot special has made money 16 of 18 years. This Thanksgiving together, we're going to feast on your bookmaker uh, with three big NFL winners. I got three big NFL winners. On the package, it's a discounted package. You get all three for one price, but use that 40% discount. Guys, now, this is a very uh, exciting part of the show. I'm going to bring everybody on for it, uh, sports fans. We're going to do a roundtable because there is one game left on the Thanksgiving card that we have not talked about. None of the cappers uh, on the show have given it out, and that is the Fresno State-San Jose State matchup. So we're going to do a quickie roundtable. We'll leave everybody on the screen. A quickie roundtable to see if anybody's got a thought or two about that game, because we don't want to leave you hanging. We want to give you all five games. Let's go to the first lady of Las Vegas, uh, the sexiest D'Amico on the show, that's for sure. Uh, Dion, what do you got in this San Jose State, Fresno State matchup, please? Well, sports fans, I absolutely love this game. Of all the games on the Thanksgiving Day card, this is by far my highest rated, and that's why I can't give it out on today's show. So go over to Sports Memo and get this winner, and not only will we be feasting on turkey this Thursday, we will also be feasting on your bookmaker. And don't forget to use that code, THANKS40. I love it. Look at that. Wait, by the way, Dion, while, while you are in there, I've got Pie Gal pouring at me. This is Pie Gal Sports fans. All my dogs we are rescues. We got Teaser Dice, Pie Gal, and Kino, and we love them. But she's been torturing me. That's why I've been laughing. We're going to bring on the next uh, prestigious guest on the show, the pioneer, Ross. Any thoughts on this uh he loves that. Any yeah. thoughts on this uh, Fresno State San Jose State matchup? Let me clue you in. With a little effort, <laughs> you can become crazy, Joe. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, uh, I'm not going to be on later this week. So, real quickly, folks, 14 and five the last three Saturdays in college football, and I'm going to have a, a large assortment of games on Saturday in college football as well. Uh, you know what? Hey, it's, you're looking at a Fresno State team that was ranked in the top 25 for a portion of this year. Uh, my eye test says they're a better team, but why are they only minus seven against a San Jose State, State team uh, that's anemic offensively? So I'm going to take a small shot here. Let me look at Dion and see if I could read her. I'm going to take um, San Jose State plus seven. Okay. Ross Benjamin. Let's go. <laughs> hey, buddy, I love you, Ross. Let's go to my buddy, Jesse Schull. Jesse, any thoughts on the Fresno State, San Jose State matchup? I do concur with what Ross said. Uh, Fresno State looks like the better team. They look like the best team in the Mountain West. Really, they, unfortunately, they're not going to be competing for the Mountain West title. But uh, the, the fact is, it's the final home game for San Jose State. They ran the table last year, 7-0. and Their offense has not been impressive, but they got a senior quarterback in Nick Starkle that led them to so many big wins last year in his final home game, or sorry, in the Mountain West championship game last year he threw for 453 yards three touchdowns so this kid's capable getting seven and a half points at home in this game looks like a steal to me well guys jesse the body has spoken ross has spoken dion has got a big play in this i'd like to talk about this game sometimes when it walks like a duck it talks like a duck it actually is a duck sports fans the bulldogs <laughs> need a win along with some outside help and they can win the mws the Spartans are looking for the sixth win to become bowl eligible so what does a better do guys on one side san jose state absolutely stagnant ross mentioned it low scoring offense going up against a very stingy fresno state defense the other side of the ball quarterback jake hayner 
3,500 yards passing, 67% completion rate, 28 to 9 on the ratio, 2, 2, 2, that's 6, 2 ball carriers, guys, in the backfield in Rivers and Mims, over 1,250 yards rushing, 19 Ds combined. I think they're going to control the clock and the tempo. This line is there are some sevens around, but mostly seven and a halves as of taping. The seven and a half bothers me. I am going to tell you this. Listen to Smokey Robinson's mo mother. Shop that number. My mama told me shop around. Shop that number. I lean on Fresno State. Guys, I want to go through the uh, the games one more time. Then I want to tell you about a couple of quick items here. Um, first of all, the, that the lovely Dion D'Amico, the first lady of Las Vegas, she gave out the Buffalo Bills minus the points. That handsome Michael Corleone looking character <laughs> from Black Heart Father 2. Ross Benjamin, Mississippi State. He did. They are minus one, one and a half. He said, if it, if you can find it for buck thirty, buck thirty five, take him on the money line. Jesse the body shoe said, take under in Vegas and Dallas in the NFL game. <clears throat> he said Dallas is offense. They're a little banged up. Your handsome host, the Pilgrim, uh, Joey <laughs> Deese, to take the Lions plus the three and a half. Now, Dion was not giving out the uh, San Jose State Fresno State game because she has it as a premium play. As a matter of fact, it's our highest rated play on the board. Go get it over Sports Memo. Ross and Jesse both lean toward the dog. I lean toward the favorite here. This is really very exciting, guys. This is this is why we have this panel. You're not going to get cookie cutters. You're not going to get the same people saying the same things. We have obviously different looks, different angles, how we how we look at games, but all successful. So that's why Sports Memo is the best website on the planet. Sports fans, we would love it if you follow follow our YouTube channel, which is 100% free, and also follow us on our Twitter pages. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't. We want to keep coming back to you. Guys, today's offer. Go to Sports Memo. Choose a, uh, as few or as many short or long-term packages for as few or as many packages as you want. 40% off any package. Use code THANKS40. Sports fans, guess what? You're going to see us again tomorrow because Jesse, Deanna, and myself are going to be covering the college and pro football uh, games for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for you. We're going to keep coming back. Ross is he's too busy for us. He's a busy guy. Now, <laughs> Ross had a previous commitment. He's too busy. Ross, do me one favor, please. The next time you get a haircut, pick up whatever they cut off. Send it to me. I can glue it to my head. I appreciate it. Best hair in the business. I love it. <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> I got no hair. You got hair. Oh. Um, <laughs> I want to thank Sports Memo, your one-stop shop for all your sports betting needs, our wonderful panel of experts. Most of all, I want to thank you, our viewers, because without you, we wouldn't be here. On behalf of Sports Memo, Dion D'Amico, Ross Benjamin, Justin Schull, and me, Joe D'Amico, good luck, have a winning day, and a very happy Thanksgiving. God bless you.